Assalamualaikum and very good morning. My name is Muhammad Ruzairi and today I will explain about milestone for finite state machine. So for my part, I will explain about 4.3 using state machine editor. Firstly, we will sketch the state diagram to detect the sequence given to our group. Solve it using both more and melee approach. And next, enter one state diagram, either more or melee using state machine editor. Convert to HDL, simulate the design, and then when simulation is successful, we will continue to the other part of my stone 4. Next, uh, this is our more state diagram. So, and this is our sequence, uh, the sequence given to our group, which is D and NT. So this is our uh, uh, encoding. So when input is n bar d bar, the condition is not input press n bar d, d is press n d bar and press and when n d, it is invalid. And this is our more state diagram. So this is d and n d. And when no input is pressed, it will goes to its own uh, state. So this is step 1 to step 1, step 2 and 2, step 2, and so on. So this is D, and when we, we press N, it will goes back to uh, reset step. So this D, N, D, N, D, and so on. Next, we will go to milli step diagram. So this is milli step diagram, and also the same sequence use D and N, D. So this is D, output 0, N, output 0, N again, output 0, and D with output 1. Hello. Now, we will move on to our quarters by using uh, state machine editor. And this is uh, how we will write it on quarters because we want it to give output 1 when we press button T and N D and uh, this is our state diagram now we will compile it done now we already done compiling the unit state editor Next, we will see the waveform. Hello. Oh, okay, now we are going to do uh, task 4.4, which is one hot encoding using security editor. So for this task, we for this session, uh, we have to design a uh, one hot schematic diagram using the more version of the state diagram and we have to get the next state equation and the output equation then we will do the schematic diagram for one hot encoding so let's take a look at the one state diagram at the one hot at the more version of the state diagram so as you can see our sequence for our group is d n and d so for this uh, state diagram, we will have 5 states and the state 5 is the output, is the detector. So, uh, let's take a look at this, uh, state 1 to state 2. Uh, we have to input D. State 2 to state 3 is N. State 3 to state 4 is N. State 4 to state 5 is D. So, in order to get output equations for our more version of the state diagram. Uh, it is very simple. Uh, this is the these are the one hot uh, one hot next state equations. So for S1 plus it is S1 D not N not and S1 D not N S4 D not N S5 D N not S5 D not n, so it is very simple, and the output equation is at S five, which is the detection. 
So now let's uh, let's derive this equation, this next equation into the schematic diagram using quarters. So if you take a look here, since we have five states, therefore we have d five d flip flops, and as you can see that this it is output as state five. This is the fifth uh, fifth d flip flop. So this is how we do how we do the schematic. So here we have the input for d and n. Uh, d is equal uh, d is time and n is equal. We have the reset reset here and the power here. Uh, for one part we have to make sure that the first d flip flop that the reset is placed at preset. Because we use we use one hot. So in order to check whether that this schematic diagram works or not, we have to look at the waveform. So at this waveform we put the clock and the reset to high because it is active high. And then we simulate the uh, simulation we simulate the simulation by inputting the input for Let's say button D and N. So if you take a look here, D and N D. So by then we should get N. Output one here, and then if you press D again. If you look here, press D, it will go back to here. State one, which is reset, and then D and N D should get us output one. So let's take a look. Yeah, so as you can see, we get output 1 after D and ND. Over here also, we get, we got an output 1 for D and ND. So that is all. Thank you. Hello everyone. Good evening. So today, we will solve milestone 4.5 problem binary encoding using schematic <coughs> editor. And so our sequence is D and N D. So, so the question asks us to build the millivision of state diagram. So this is the millivision of state diagram. By comparing to the more diagram, the mill state diagram we have less than less one state. So how do we build this milli state diagram? First step is we have to build the happy part where D and N D and the output is V1. Next, we have to analyze each state. So from state 0, when N is pressed, it will be looping in the same state. Meanwhile, if the first state, S1, if D is pressed, it will be looping in the same state. But in S3, cannot looping in its state. It have to go back to the S1 state if D is pressed. From the S3 state, the output will be 1 if D is pressed and it will be reset. Same goes to the N. It will be reset here when N is pressed from the state 3. After getting the state diagram, we have to build table. The table included present state, input, next state, and output. The present state is the current state that we have, which is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Meanwhile, the next state, D1, D0, and output, we have to find the input will be D and N. So how the table works is from 0, 0, if no button is pressed, it will be remain in the same state with output 0. If N is pressed, it's still the same, it will be in the same state 0, 0 with output 0. If D is pressed, if D is pressed, it will go to the S1 state. So you have to write N0 and 1 with output 0. And for both, when both input 
is pressed we don't care about this next 0 1 instead s1 if no button is pressed it will, be in, it will remain in the same state 0 1 and when you have when you press n you go to the next state s3 which is 1 0 with output 0 next d if you press d it will be looping in the same state s1 so you have to write 0 1 with output 0 1 1 we don't care in s3 1 0 if no input is pressed it remains in the same state 1 0 with output 0 if n is pressed it will go to the next state 1 1 here it will be from s3 from sorry from s2 to s3 if n is pressed but when t is pressed it will go back to the s1 state so you have to write 0 and 1 we don't care about 1 1 then from these states this state is 1 1 when no output is spread no sorry when no input is pressed it will remain in the same state 1 1 next when n is pressed you will go back to the s0 state it's same goes to when d is pressed we go back to the s0 state so you have to write 0 0 here and here but the difference is when d from here when d is pressed you will go up to 1 and if you put you press the put input we don't care about it all right from the tutorial we build the d1 k map so 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 for the n q1 q0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and from the output of d1 you only fill in the important part since we are doing sop so you only put one and don't k x so from here we can get three equation here is the first equation here is the first second equation and this is the third equation so from the third from the three equation you will get d1 which is n q1 bar q0 plus d bar n bar q1 plus d bar q1 q0 bar next we be the same concept with d1 will be the z d0 so the, the output of d0 will be like this so but here we we got four equation the first one is here one two three and four and from four equation we can get d0 equal to q0 d bar n bar plus q0 d plus q1 q0 bar n plus q1 bar d next we have to build the output d and n d the k map this will be like this only one equation here so from this equation we can get d and n d equal to d q1 q0 and from these three equation d1 d0 and d and d we have to build we have to build the schematic diagram in the schematic editor so the schematic diagram will be like this all right after getting the three equation d1 d0 and d and d so we have to build a second something like this we are using 2d flip-flops since we have to next to this equation d1 so the second wave of d1 is like this meanwhile the second of d2 sorry the second of d0 is like this but the second of the n is very simple since it have it only have one equation so the clock of the diffie flop is connected to input clock meanwhile the clear is connected with the reset 
so in order to test and verify the circuit we have to compile and test the waveform so the first step is set as top level entity and compile We have to update or create the symbol files here. Create symbol files, save, and from here we can build a circuit. Something like this. The circuit is from the milestone 3 input filter. Input filter. This is our binary encoding symbol, and we're using the flip flop. And link two is actually is a Johnson counter, where there is a six LED and reset, but the reset output reset will be connected to the clock. Sorry, reset will be connected to the clear of the flip flop, but the clock of the flip flop will be connected with the output of the binary encoding V02, and we give. 100 hertz for input filter and binary encoding meanwhile 1 hertz for the johnson counter so we have to run this we have compiled and test and test this circuit So right, uh, this is our group sequence D and N D. So when we press D and N D, it should light up the LED. So this is button of D, and D is N. So let's try D and N and D. So it will light up one by one, and then we reset to state zero. Okay, try one more time. D n n d so this is success right thank you